Hi all, welcome back. Today we are going to perform a small video on how to input Citrix VPX 11.1 .1 image to EVNG. First we will download the Citrix VPX image from Citrix website. I will provide you the link in below description so you can download this image from Citrix website. So I will show you how to download this image as well. Okay, so once you enter the URL, so it will directly take you to Citrix Netscala VPX release 11.1 .1 in that you have you have so many flavors uh, like you know Zen server 11.1 .1 VPX ESX and hypervisor KVM files so in my in this lab so I'm going to download a ESX file so once you click on download so it's ask for the license agreement you have you should have a valid Citrix username password if you don't have you can create it so once you go through with this license agreement click on accept and it will take you to the another pop-up download agreement as well so once you click this checkbox and click on accept so the file will get downloaded so I have already downloaded the file so I will not create it or download it once again so I will close this window so I have already saved this this file and I have extracted this file uh, Citrix Nest Color ESX 11.1 .1. so I will double click this is a like you know virtual open virtual format package so what I will do is I will right click and I will import this to virtual machine once after importing this virtual machine I will do some initial configuration and then once after initial configuration so I will export this to OVA format image once after exporting to OVA format image and I will import that OVA format to EVNG through WinSCP and I will follow some commands to extract that Win uh, virtual machine to HDF format. So let's do it. Let's right click and open with VMware workstation. Okay, I will give some name for that 11.1 .1. and I will save this configuration in some drive VM. Okay, click on that. Click on import. It will take some time to import it. So meanwhile, I will pause this video okay it's imported successfully so if you look at the configurations so it's a memory is a 2 gb and processor is 2 hard disk is allocated 20 gb network adapter is bridge so what i will do is i will edit this configuration i want uh, network adapter should be in my nat so i'm going to provide the nat ip address so for that i will use the nat ip and power on this virtual machine okay so boot process is going on so i will pause this video so once completely boots up so i will come back again okay so boot process is completed so it's uh, asking for the next scalar ip address so what i will do is i will provide a ip address 192.168.161.130 with subnet mask of 24 and gateway address is 192.168.161.254 okay so i will save and quit option 4 so it will take some time so i will pause this video until it has come up okay uh, the initial configuration is got completed and it's asking for us to uh, login so default username and password is ns root I will use ns root and password is also ns root okay so we are able to log into the CLI so let's check show version so 
so it's 11.1 and show hardware okay and show interface summary as of now it's only having one interface and one loop back and if you want to go to shell you press it shell and it will go shell mode so we have in done the initial configuration now we will stop this vm and we will extract this to uh, oa format before that i will access this uh, gui whether i am able to access the gui or not so let's check http 192.168.161.130 yes i am able to log into gui as well so for gui also the username and password is same ns root and ns root for password okay done so we will stop this vm and we will extract this uh, virtual machine to ova format power of go to find and export to ova and give the path where this file needs to save it so i will give here citrix dot ova so it will take some 10 minutes to extract so meanwhile what i will do i will pause this video okay i have extracted the ova image now uh, import this ova image to evng and uh, through winscp for this for that i will log into uh, cli of evng i am already into that cli okay so i have some steps to import first uh, create the directory then go inside the directory folder and import the citrix image and extract that image with this command and convert that image to hd format and remove an, uh, other files and save the configurations so what i will do i will create the first i will make the directory i will provide these uh, commands in my below description so you can use it for your okay cd okay nothing is there so go to the cli and refresh it whether i am able to see the folder or not okay ns it takes i'm able to see let's go to the vm and import upload this file to evng so it will take some couple of two to three minutes to extract it so meanwhile we will go to the next command this is the extraction command okay do ls yes i'm able to see the whatever the extracted ova format file here so let's do extraction tar hyphen xf okay the file is got extracted very quickly and then convert that to sda format okay then remove other unwanted files so once after extraction okay it's you can also remove by via winscp also so if you refresh it so you remove all another other files except sta file okay uh, we have already done and we will save this configurations using the fix permissions command okay that's yes, done okay let's perform the lab on simple lab and then extract this via from evng okay i have already logged into evng okay i am able to see the 11.1 image here and i will take one windows host machine okay so now the citrix uh, 
at scale it's asking for the login page so login prompt so let's do ns root sorry ns root and password is also ns root okay so verify the commands show version okay it's showing 11.1 uh, .1. build is 60.13.nc and the show interface summary yeah we are able to see the four interface and one is loopback interface and check show hardware okay it's showing the hardware details as well so and we'll try to access this uh, gui screen as well in windows host machine so let's assign some ip uh, ip to this windows host machine and after settings go to cli properties and i do 168.161.135 192.168.161.130 uh, IP address of uh, next scalar is 192.168.161.130 yes I am able to access the GUI as well okay let's ns root and ns root okay uh, so we are able to log into GUI as well. So I think uh, we have done with the initial, you know, importing the Citrix Netscale RBPX 11.12 EVNG. And in my next video, I will show you like, you know, so how to configure this licensing part and uh, initial configuration of this. So we have, we have done the initial configuration and we will in next part, uh, I will show you the licensing part, how to extra how to download the uh, licensing so by default uh, when you whenever you download the esx uh, image so it will be it will not have any license you should you should have should have download the trial period license for trial period license gives the 90 days of validity okay i think uh, this in, in this video is informative for you and i would like to say thank you for watching